Hey there folks and welcome to Quackers Plays Home, a unique horror adventure by Benjamin Rivers. Um, I think I might have seen Cry play a little bit of this, but I don't really remember and just want to say. Sorry folks, I had to turn the, uh, turn the sound down on the game, just to make sure that you can hear what I'm saying, because... Yeah, anyway. So, yeah, I think I might have seen Cry play this, but I don't really remember. I remember a torch and things, so let's uh, jump in and see what's happening. The yeah, game will be saved automatically at certain points. However, we recommend you put aside an hour and a half and complete home in a single sitting. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. <coughs> 7 o'clock, I don't think I've got anything to do tonight, so... Sorry. Move left and right, look up. That's the arrow keys. The space is interact. So do I need my mouse? I guess I guess not one sec. Never mind. I was just thought I would hide my mouse, but apparently you folks can't see it anyway, so that's fine. Let's uh, escape is quit the game, but I don't think we'll be doing that. Let's go. Wear headphones. Turn off the lights. I don't think I want to. Hang on. I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Do new 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 adventure across the room. Put that on. Switch that on. Okay. Now I am prepared to absolutely shit my pants. <coughs> so on we go. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Down. <coughs> so sorry. Oh, oh my head. Where was I? It was so dark and thundery. Down. Press the down button. Oh, hello. The move mouse. I can't see. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. Good. So I have no control over that. I can walk. Okay. Eh, hey, we can do things. Space. I want to interact with things. Were we laying on a futon? Are we in Japan? Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I do not like that. That house. Where was I? Down. There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? Shoo do. A back cat. <gasps> Meow. Meow. What are you? Do don't think so. We have a jaunty walk really, don't we? We're quite what's this? Stairs. <coughs> oh, it's limping, not jaunty. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs to try and find a way out. Bye. We'll go back up. <laughs> this is kind of spooky. Especially the uh, transitions. Books shelf. Computer! The desk had a computer and some papers on it, and a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? Yes, you bet your ass you did. Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo. Looked like a star of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? Can I do anything else? We really should have been going through this stuff. Getting my fingerprints everywhere. Oh yeah, because someone's dead. What is this? Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realised there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. That's just thunder. <coughs> God, I'm so sorry. Books. The bookshelf was full of books on local history and hunting. Down button. Down, button, down. 
Ball stairs. What the frack? A thin grey mouse, okay, was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic but exhausted. Did I free it? Yes, you did. Yay! You better help me now, mouse. Alright, you owe me. You freaking owe me. Do not like that door animation. Oh, look, tools. A collection of rusty tools. These looked like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? Because I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? You might as well. <coughs> it pressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. Down. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. <coughs> One sec. God, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. The smell was turning my stomach. Yeah, okay. A black and white photo looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guessed. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? Yeah, why not? I slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. Ah, <coughs> oh, Christ. I wish whatever shit is in my throat would just get out. And then I could talk to you folks normally. Let's go down here. Mirror, I looked like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there was mud caked all over my shoes. Good. Was it this door? Why did I click on it? The bathroom was spotless. Everything had been wiped to sh a sheen. I wondered if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning, or him. Don't look in the bath. Oh, what's this? There was a photo development tray lying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty blurry. I thought I saw... What looked like treetops. Oh. Okay. <coughs> Wait a minute. The front door was blocked by... Achoo! Sorry! <laughs> a pile of furniture! <coughs> I knew I had to find another way out. So sorry. Took me by surprise. <coughs> The door was taped up and seemed to be locked. By the smell, I guessed it led to the kitchen. Excellent. Which one slammed, though? That's the important question. The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I had found a way out. I must have moved it, right? Yes, you did. I heaved the box forward and it finally gave. Good o. There's a ladder going underground where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? Mm, no. Not yet. Let's go back up here. Jeez, the pit! <laughs> The painting frightened me to death and I'd already bloody seen it. <coughs> I'm a massive idiot. Dead body. I already forgot the rest of the controls. Okay, fine, we'll go to the basement.
Yep, 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 yep. Yes, we did. Yes. 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 I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. <coughs> my Sorry, my leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. What is this? Footprints in the dirt look like more than one kind. And a lot of traffic. It was an old map of the town. Places all over were marked. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the, end, near the old rail station. The guy upstairs must have done this. But what was his interest in the water tower? Disturbed. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Oh, excuse me. Wait. These were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more. Tried to find some kind of information. <coughs> a work table covered in papers. Dirt and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? N no. I didn't even want to touch the thing. Better I left it right where it was. This is stupid. I'm going to die now. But at least I'm morally something. <coughs> the desk looked old and was caked with grime. On it was a stack of old faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out and illegible. Notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. He, iv, e, hevile, r, af, al, r. None of it made any sense to me. Well, it wouldn't. Crudely made shells. They looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. Some kind of corrosive what? The labels were worn and slick, but I could still see the warnings. <coughs> a cage. It looked like a cage. It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Nice. Where do I want to go? Let's go to that room that was over there. How do I know when the game is saved? There looked to be bones half dug into the ground, and the remains looked old. The faded clothes that stuck up among the dirt looked familiar. They looked like the clothes that that woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? Shit, this gets darker and darker. Let's, let's get out, man. Get out. <coughs> You're a murderer. Probably. Some kind of homemade rack slung together with poorly cut wood and rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that. Did they? Oh, my God. oh hello. Rusted hooks, like the kind of thing you'd find in a butcher hung from the ceiling. They looked pitted and worn from heavy use. That man upstairs, did he do this? Meat hooks everywhere! <coughs> <coughs> Meat hooks are always good. Yeah, I think we're probably going to do this in one sitting, folks, because I don't know when it's saved and stuff. Some, well, I'll split the video up, but you know what I mean. Some kind of old boxes. They looked like they were years old. Wait a minute. Those boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remember throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing here? This is... I find this dark and disturbing. <coughs> Bats! No! Freaking me out like that. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. <laughs> ah! 
There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? You sure did. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. Good-o. Look! Look! It's a dead person in the wall of all places. I had the rope now, though it must have been a use for it. Somewhere. Okay. <coughs> we'll do 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. And then we'll go. The rope I found would have let me climb down the broken ladder safely. Did I climb down? Of course you did. You wouldn't get anywhere if you didn't, would you? I could hear a faint hum and the smell from before started to get worse. I know what. Oh, I can hear it now. A bunch of old newspapers, wheat pasted together. A message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out. Danger due to cave-in. Oh, it's very loud now. Sounds like water. What the hell? What is this? What's going on? <coughs> My hands tingled from the burn of sliding down that rope. It was lucky I found that. Who knows what would have happened if I had jumped down. Still, it was all I could do to not have rushed out of that awful place. That rack, those terrible tools. What the hell was going on back there? The metal door groaned as I leaned into it, causing my heart to skip a beat at the sound. As I peered ahead into the dark of the next room, I worried that I should have taken that gun I saw. But me, with a gun. Please don't worry about guns. <coughs> An exposed ventilation shaft. Maybe someone crawled through there, but it was so high up that it must have been a saw landing. There was dirt on the ground. It looked wet, and there was grass smeared within it. Good. I could hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was that? Water? Exit! <gasps> Thing! A kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? Better not. I was relieved to leave the filthy knife right where I found it. <coughs> when we die, it's going to be your fault. <gasps> the door was locked. Those must smell from inside. What was that? Why am I going in these rooms? It's obviously scary. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? No, you better not. Left the valve alone. Good boy. Good boy. <coughs> huh. Oh, there's valves everywhere. I don't know what they do. This way, come on. Come on, keep going. There was a rusty ladder sunk into the water, which I, kn which smelled disgusting. I knew I couldn't climb down that. Sorry, that's Facebook. Maybe I could find a way to drain the putrid water. Oh no, mum, please, no. Damn it. Um, okay, i tell you what we'll do. What we'll do. What we'll do. What we'll do is I will pause this video here. I will see you on the next video <coughs> where we will drain all the horrible water and it'll, it'll be great. We'll run away. It'll be great. It'll be great. It will be fantastic. So... I hope you've enjoyed the first part of Home. It's interesting, that's for certain. If you have, please feel free to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Ciao for now. Quackers, 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 quackers.